September 14, 2023 update. October 9, 2023, Denver Mayor Office at Denver's Mayor. X handled by Marcus Giovanni. You know, these people, what they do is they try to manipulate all the conversations so they always stay on top of the page. But see, they don't realize the top of the pages that they're building for themselves is dark web matter <clears throat> because it does matter. So when the media talks about 12 years and why it matters and first woman and all these uh, words and taglines and how they manipulate, it's all catching up to them, but it's going to be real slow bleed, digital bleed out. That's what it's called when the uh, artificial intelligence singles you out because your voices are now indexed and pattern matched to everything that you do on the internet. And the new digital DNA, the GPS and cell phone tower pings, when the um, judicial system and law enforcement agencies work together and try to figure out how it really works and bring the right people on and still instead of having those who out trying to troll all these people that know and then they use it in their system so then what happens is because they're not given their sources there those sources start to invade their circles so when see the older people don't know this but gen z some kids under 18 above 18 to 20 years old they know and they have no way to communicate this to anybody, but they understand what it is. But they don't are not recognized, except on Xfinity, where they, uh, um, I'm, I'm telling you, Xfinity, if I was mayor, they'd be paying the citizens of Denver some big money. And same with Comcast, and same with... Uh, they're throttling all the accounts. If you check, check your speed... Internet speed, do a Google search, internet speed, click on that little blue block, blue box and watch. And then what you do is you take a picture, screenshot it, you know, screenshot it, save a screenshot and you'll be able to monitor it and watch how you're going to be charged when you're paying the high dollar movements. You're going to be charged the same as everyone else. And that's sad, folks. And but nobody call, nobody calls them out because people like to give away their hard earned money to bullshit. And that's what Denver is. Bullshit. The whole entire system from the democracy to all their bullshit talk, all their candidates, all, everything. And I didn't do this, folks. See, I'm trying to open the eyes of whoever's really running Denver. You're still going to run Denver. But you better control the conversation blocks because who you're putting in or stealing the conversation know-how from people like me. And it shows in the searches. So while they all try to figure out a way to take over the, the at sign of city and county of Denver, go ahead, you're go afraid, go ahead of me. I don't care. But but I need that because my foundation is all about the bullshit of your foundations. 5013Cs, Denver Partnership, Tammy Door, Kelly Bro, the Whack-A-Mole commercial, and tilting her head and using heart signs and telling women voters that they they need to vote for her because of her being the first mayor, not because of merits and ability, and that's why she was a mayor. And we needed a mayor like Mike Johnston because he's an attorney. We didn't need any attorney until this one time and it happened. See, he's an attorney. He has to up. It's his, uh, it's his license that requires him to act within according to the laws of all laws. So he's different than any other mayor because he's an attorney. And when other attorneys talk to him, all their conversations are. And if if Mike Johnston ever got subpoenaed to to extract his cloud content. Whew, he'd be in trouble, but you don't need to get a subpoena. You can now do it just based off what you think a group of people are talking about. And if you can put some cool uh, uh, handles, hashtags, um, operators, if you will, symbols, social symbols, in regards to what you think they're talking, those conversations will come up. It'll be broken up, but you have to know how to read that. And that's what Homeland Security and all these people are starting to learn. And one day they'll bring the right people together. And, you know, when you think about 
like there was one of our reps, Bobard, I think you say her name, and she got kicked out of a theater because they said she was vaping and she's laughing out loud and they're using their phones. But you didn't see that on the video. You didn't see that bite vape pen light up. See, they're very, they can, anybody can accuse you anything that they want. And depending on who it is, like this was uh, evidently some theater people. They know who, they knew who she was. So it's not like they don't know who she was. So they kicked her out of a movie theater and this is what's going to happen. So um, be prepared, but don't worry. AI needs all these people to come out of the closet of all their disastrous, devious, and when you just look outside, they don't believe what you see outside, folks. Just believe what they tell you. Because now all their words are pattern matched into negative keywords. But I don't know, or anyone really knows how long it takes for AI to filter all these peoples out. Because you have to have balance. And so when there's more negative talk, they gotta, and there's no really good talk from good people trying to change things, then our adversaries are watching what we're doing and they're watching us dehumanize a president, uh, an ex-president, taking away everything he has, all his business license, everything that he did. And, uh, you know, it's reverse racism. It, it's just everything, but nobody wants to hear it. So for me, I'm just obligated. It's my fiduciary duty to keep everybody in the city and county of Denver informed of what's going on, really and why it really matters. And after 13 years, nothing's gonna change. In fact, it's gonna be completely worse. All the sports teams in Denver, everything is gonna be hit on what artificial intelligence calls the Spear Amendment wormhole. I didn't do it, folks. I tried to tell y'all, but you didn't wanna to talk to me because you already had your preconceived notions of who you think I am, but you don't know anything about me. And I want everybody to know everything about me. Believe me, I got some shit to talk about. But that's okay. Because all I need to do is talk to God. And he'll get it done for me. Peace.